Hi, we're group five and we're gonna be presenting swirlies. Before we get started, I wanted to ask what's everyone's favorite treat? I like ice cream. I like frozen yogurt. I love sorbets. Okay, what if we can have that all together? That looks amazing. I'm sold. <laughs> that looks great. Our case study is on Swirlies, a unique frozen yogurt catering business. The small growing business was founded five years ago by Bianca and Jarley. It originated from their experience running an ice cream shop in Jalisco, Mexico. Their products are gluten-free and lactose-free. Um, they also provide the best product and customer service, offering a VIP experience with unique flavors. Despite its unique its unique offerings and great customer service, Swirly does face marketing challenges that create an obstacle to reaching their full market potential. They currently have a slow season during winter. Um, they don't have a, a set location. They do not rely on event coordinators and they heavily rely on Instagram. In our case study, we will discuss potential marketing strate strategies that can help Sorley secure recurring business and growth. And I'm gonna pass it on to Larissa. Hi, I'm gonna cover the situation analysis. Uh, Swirlies is a catering business that provides infused frozen yogurt and ice cream treats. They have a VIP customer service, five-star rating, which includes reliable and efficient communication with customers before and after the event customizable menus and offerings based on the theme of the party and upon customer requests. They are rapidly building a word of mouth customer base with their unique offerings. Swirlies, um, speaking of their customers, Swirlies uh, main customers are birthday parties, weddings, corporate events, fairs, um, community events, and um, any uh, customer who focuses on healthy conscious lifestyle choices. Um, their competitors include frozen yogurt, ice cream store chains, Menchie's, Yogurt Land, 31 Flavors, um, maybe a catering company that would include dessert in their package would be a competitor, and um, any frozen yogurt or ice cream truck out there. And I will pass it over to Juan to go over the SWOT. Thank you, Larissa. And now we're going to dive into our SWOT analysis of Swirlies, and we're going to start with their strengths. With a successful five-year Track record, Swirly has experienced significant growth in the past year, establishing themselves as a dominant presence in the market. Swirly faces minimal competition in the Los Angeles area, providing a strategic advantage for sustained su success. And Swirly has prioritized excellent customer service as evident by positive reviews on platforms like Yelp. Um, now, if we jump into our weaknesses, Swirly faces limitations by not actively engaging with vendor coordinators. Secondly, Swirlies is over-reliant on Instagram as a primary mode of communication, which may restrict Swirlies' reach. And lastly, there's an absence of primary storefront that hinders the potential for walking customers and direct brand engagement, putting Swirlies at a disadvantage compared to established chains such as Yogurt Land and Menchie's. However, if we look at our opportunities, Swirlies can expand its business beyond catering by opening kiosks, using ice cream truck, more pop-up shops, and tapping into walking cu customers and expanding their product at grocery stores. By establishing partnerships with event coordinators because it offers a pathway for securing a steady stream of catering opportunities. Additionally, it should explore alternative social media platforms and dedicated websites that could, can support Swirly's market. And lastly, to address the seasonality, Swirly's can introduce alternative menu options during the colder months, ensuring a continuous stream of revenue. Lastly, uh, with knowing all that information, uh, there are some threats. With success in securing a recurring bu business, it poses the threat of overbooking. Also, with increased demand, Swirlies must maintain a consistent and reliable workforce to meet their customer expectations. And lastly, the seasonality of the ice cream industry could lead to a decline in sales in, during the colder months. Um, however, we'll discuss further in the later slides how we could address that challenge. And I'll pass it over to Arnold. Thank you, Juan. Well. 
this portion is going to be our segmentation targeting our position statement. So with identifying um, the specific segmentation is going to be mid to high and uh, paying clients. Uh, the events are going to be private events, weddings, birthdays, and corporate events. The specific demographic that was identified was Latinos and Americans, and then 40% of, as you see on the graph here, uh, is other. Now, the targeting um, from the type of events that seems to be most attractive is, is the birthdays and weddings are the most feasible segments. Our position statement, it's, it's pretty straightforward and pretty simple. Swirly stands out as an exceptional infused frozen yogurt catering business and is recognized as the top catering choice over any other frozen yogurt chain at a reasonable price uh, for infused frozen yogurt in Los Angeles. Well, next I'll be passing it over to Larissa. Hi, um, I'm gonna go over the sustainable competitive advantage. Swirlies has two primary SCAs. Uh, first, their unique offering includes a secret family base, uh, family recipe base, and it's phenomenal. It's, uh, they include lactose-free um, and glucose-free, uh, sugar-free, whatever, um, any type of option that you like in that base. Additionally, um, they offer premium ingredients, wide variety of flavor options um, and toppings. Um, they include custom creations with fruit integrations or specialty options. So the customer is the creator and the, um, and to make their own, you know, desserts. Um, their other uh, SEA is customer service. They offer a VIP customer service. Um, no matter the, uh, the size of the event, they have the same service. Uh, they go above and beyond for their customer delivery, um, which garnered them a five-star Yelp review. In addition, in addition to that, they are on Yelp's top 10 Froyo companies in Los Angeles, and they are number one. Um, they include a photo booth, which um, adds to the ambiance, and you can take pictures with your companion with your ice cream, and it's just an overall experience. Um, so uh, now I'll pass it over to Erica. For our target market, it's going to be partnerships with event coordinators. Our target would be to get swirlies in contact with various event coordinators. When an event coordinator is contacted to organize an event, they usually have their to go to vendors. So our goal would be to get swirlies on one of those lists to secure more jobs. Um, Another target market is having a place where customers can go and get their frozen yogurt, not only when they're catering. This would be by starting um, an ice cream shop where they can have their location. And then it, our target would also be to position their products in local markets. And next I'm gonna pass it on to Juan. Thank you, Erica. Um, so I wanna start by recapping the product itself again. So Swirlies takes inspiration from flavors from Jalisco, Mexico, creating a unique and authentic flavor experience. And as Larissa, Larissa mentioned, all their products are gluten-free and lactose-free. Swirly stands out by incorporating real fruit into the frozen yogurt. The, they have over 100 flavors, providing customers with diverse range of choices. And lastly, Swirly adapts to its product assortment to cater to their customers. So with that being said, um, our and all those product uh, variations that they already have, uh, there are some recommendations. So they could expand them a uh, menu more with hot infused desserts to complement the catering services. Secondly, they should highlight more of the warm fruit infused yogurt smoothie smoothies. And also they should introduce more seasonal toppings such as warm chocolate and sauce and caramelized fruit, all with which they could do during uh through their social media platforms. And now when we look at the price, Swirlies is a catering business, so their pricing will always vary depending on their products, ingredients, travel, capacity. So it's also important that they adopt a tailored pricing strategy that caters to specific event requirements. Secondly, they should focus on delivering to the mid to high end market and also aligning the prices as a top choice for premium event catering. So our recommendations to that is to aim for expanding their pop-up events and emphasizing their specials on social media platforms to attract walking customers, which would create excitement and engagement with them. Swirlies can also introduce tiered catering packages tailored to different event sizes, providing a personalized experience for their clients. So for example, they could have a basic package for ideal for birthdays, standard package for 
medium sized gatherings and a premium pa package can that can be tailored for larger events like weddings and corporate functions. Lastly, Swirly should implement it, referral discounts, encouraging customers to recommend Swirly's, which will contr contribute to customer retention, acquisition, and building trust with the catering industry. And I'll pass it over to Olga. Thank you for that, Juan. So during our initial discussion with our client and we were talking about their promotion strategy, they had expressed that they, they, they didn't really have one. Um, so, you know, as we mentioned previously, that they did have heavily rely on Instagram for all of their bookings. Um, so we kind of want to take that and, you know, push it even further and, you know, leverage other social media platforms, including Instagram and Facebook. Um, content recommendations for TikTok and Instagram should be um you know, highly shareable videos that grab attention, you know, so days in the life that are, you know, behind the scenes of, you know, what goes on when you do book swirlies as your, um, you know, vendor at your party, um, you know, showcasing the final product, um, you know, the process of, you know, the, the top, adding the toppings and, you know, what it takes to create the whole treat itself. Um, and then this content should be pushed around holidays, you know, and specifically graduation season, you know, there's a lot of people who have graduation parties, um, and then just year round for events and corporate, um, you know, weddings, corporate events, um, and all of that. And then going along with that is really le leveraging social media influencers and food bloggers, you know, getting that stamp of approval from, you know, a person who has a lot of reach within the food industry. Um, and, you know, people who take every like, you know, person who has um, a lot of, you know, leverage in the sense of that, you know, their opinions are, you know, really taken um, seriously. Um, so getting them to kind of give that stamp of approval on, on Swirlies um, could really help out their reputation. Um, and then just, you know, across all platforms, um, you know, highlighting the unique menu, um, their exceptional customers customer service, like we had mentioned, um, and then just all the positive reviews uh, that they've gotten. Um, and then going along with that is their distribution and supply chain strategy. Um, so, you know, starting a uh, online platform uh, uh, website where people can order ice cream. So, you know, at people's local grocery stores, um, they don't have a, a, that much of a wide range of products, whether it be um, specifically catered to people's um, allergies or just, um, you know, dietary restrictions. Um, there are some, but not that much. So I think um, leveraging products across, um, you know, different uh, priorities that people have within their um, food. So, uh, you know, being able to like actually order these products online and they're actually able to be shipped across the country using dry ice. And that's, um, you know, a strategy that a lot of ice cream uh, companies have been using today. Um, and then going along with that is, you know, partnering with third party retailers such as local grocery stores and supermarkets and, you know, having them you actually stock uh, Swirly's frozen yogurt um, and ice creams uh, in their specific frozen sections. Um, and that way they'll be able to extend the brand's reach and enhance the visibility and just overall drive sales. Um, so now I'm going to be passing it on to Arnold for some recommendations. Yes, thank you, Ola, for that. So our recommendations, as we sat down with the CEO and we talked about what they wanted to get out of this. And so part of it was um, franchising and a social media expansion. And then some of our recommendations that tie into that are going to be partnership event coordinators um, and integrated, you know, integrating how to build a, a, a app, an app. So consulting with the own consulting with the owner suggests that, you know, leverage uh, to become franchised and that will help expand to a storefront business. This will help the identified weakness of Sorley's workforce and scale up the business. In addition to the franchise, a step that uh, can help sustain the SCAs would be to hire an event coordinator. As, as Juan mentioned in the product category, you know, our recommendation would be to have an infused hot item that goes with the ice cream. So whether that's beverage or food, um, and the event coordinator to help with that. Um, and that will help mitigate the, grow the growth of swirlies. Uh, the coordinator will help not just with the planning also, but also with the event coordinating and targeting the clients. Well, in addition to the recommendations, the expansion of the digital footprint of social media platforms from Facebook to TikTok, as you heard um, both Juan and Ola mention that, you know, this company is really relying on, on Instagram as its foundation. So as we build content, you know, where our recommendations to build daily content with short videos or expanded videos, but showing that engagement around what the customers are enjoying, the foods that are available and broadcasting the events that are being showcased. Well, the one recommendation as, as this company looks at scaling up is going to be the, the creation of a potential app. And so when we pulled this up and created, it was both influenced by chat GPT and open AI. And what we'll be delivering um, is our suggestion. As you grow, you definitely want to have something that 
um, your clients or, you know, your consumer could really look at, you know, ingredients, menu options, packages, as we talked about tier packages earlier. Well, um, and we also identified, you know, the action step to carry this out and target day. So target dates. So there's a comprehensive plan that, that we definitely will be following up with, but it expands from December of 2023 to March 2024. And in that, the, the plan that we just discussed, it's social media, going to franchise, um, targeting, event coordinator. And then what the goal is really to see uh, the downstream effect from the customer's results through social media and the creation of the app along with the vendor coordinating and hopefully to fulfill what the CEO is looking for is to expand to franchise, expand on social media platforms, along with a few of our recommendations. Thank you. We are group five. And um, if you have any questions for us.